Shalom family. So I thought I'd teach you another Hebrew phrase from the Word of God. Uh, this one's for fun. So if we go to John 20, verse 19 to 20 and verse 26, I'm going to read that for you first. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. They were locked in a sealed room, hiding from the Jews. And Jesus appeared in the midst of them. They must have freaked out. Immediately he says, peace be with you. Verse 26, and after eight days, his disciples were again inside. And Thomas, this time, with them, Jesus came, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace to you. Shalom Alechem. This is the most common and traditional way to express the sentiment, May peace be with you, in Hebrew. It is often used to greet or bid farewell to someone. The literal translation of Shalom Alechem is peace upon you. The plural form used to address a group of people collectively, like he addressed his disciples as a group. Tehi Shalom Alechem, by adding the word Tehi before Shalom Alechem, you are adding a more explicit wish, entailing May peace be upon you. This version enhances the formality and the warmth of the greeting. So in these verses, Yeshua could either have said, Shalom Aleichem, or Tehi Shalom Aleichem. I would lean towards the more familiar one of Tehi Shalom Aleichem. May peace be upon you. So, enjoy that one. Keep digging in the Word of God. Keep drawing closer to Yeshua. Shalom.